River taxis are quite a good way to travel in Bangkok because many places visited by tourists are close to the river. Take advantage of convenient connections with Bangkok's rail system to get on board. Rajini Pier is only about 50 meters from Sanam Chai MRT station, while Saturn Pier can be found just one flight of stairs below Sapin Taksin Sky Train Station. There are various boat services along the Chow Praya River, but for ease of use, it's best to concentrate on just two, and as a resident of Bangkok, that is precisely what I do. Chow Praya Express boats offer the most comprehensive service, stopping everywhere likely to be of interest to tourists between Pra Artit and Saturn Piers. The different categories of Chow Praya Express boats are identified by color. Orange aligns with tourists' requirements and the relevant boats fly an orange triangular flag at the back. At the ticket counters, ask for an orange ticket which will actually be colored white. Boats leave from distant termini at approximately 30-minute intervals from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. Their position along the river can be determined by referencing Viabus, a real-time online transport tracking application available in Thailand. There is no timetable because variables such as the strength of current and traffic conditions affect the speed of the boat. Chow Praya tourist boats are the other service worth considering and a good alternative. They also run at approximately 30-minute intervals but from 8.30 in the morning until 7.45 in the evening. Find a link to the timetable in the description. Invariably, they fly a blue flag at the back embossed with a Chow Praya tourist boat emblem. The emblem usually also appears on the side of the boat, as do hop-on-hop-off signs. They are often referred to as blue flag or blue ticket boats, and, believe it or not, the tickets are actually colored blue. Despite being more expensive than Chow Praya Express boats, the price is still very reasonable. Helpful staff at the counters ensure a more tourist-friendly experience, and the views from on board are superior because the vessels sit higher in the water and there is also an upper deck. Some boats even have air conditioning. It is important to note, however, that Chow Praya tourist boats do not call at Pra Pinklo Bridge, Tonbury Railway Station, Memorial Bridge, Marine Department, Sea Praya, and Oriental Piers. This is unlikely to cause a problem at first, as they stop at all the more important piers. By the time you progress to less visited attractions, the way in which public river transport operates will hopefully have become more familiar. From less well-used piers, it may be necessary to purchase a ticket after boarding. The conductor will want to see tickets bought at a counter anyway. The fare will be the same no matter how long the journey, although it should be noted that tickets cannot be interchanged between tourist and express boats. For what it's worth, I take the first boat, orange or blue, which will stop at my desired destination. The following brief introduction to the piers is given in the order they are situated along the river between Pra Artit Pier, the nearest to Kausen Road, and Saturn Pier, which, as mentioned previously, interconnects with the SkyTrain at Sapin Taksin Station. Despite a few twists and turns, the route from Kausen Road to Pra Artit Pier is reasonably straightforward. At the pier, take a river taxi heading downstream, away from the Rama the Eighth Bridge. In other words, face the river and board a boat traveling to the left. The journey across to Pra Pinklau Bridge Pier, which isn't visited by tourist boats, is short. Leave the boat here to visit the Royal Barge Museum. Most people will find the flat 850 meter walk easy. Continuing along the river, the boat stops just past the mouth of a wide canal at Tonbury Railway Station Pier, which despite its name is over a kilometer from the station. Trains leave for Kanchanaburi and the River Kwai Bridge. Once again, tourist boats bypass this stop. Next is Pranik Pier. Leave the boat to visit Wanglang Market, which although popular with Thais, is not visited by many tourists. Riverside restaurants here, although not particularly luxurious, are comfortable enough, reasonably priced, and of course have river views. Tarchang Pier is the stop for the Grand Palace. To visit walk directly away from the river, cross the road then enter through the third gate. Wat Mahatat, Sanam Luang, the City Pillar Shrine and the National Museum are all situated close by. The next pier serves both Wat Arun on the right bank and Wat Po on the left. An inexpensive cross-river ferry runs between them. 
connect with Bangkok's metro trains at Rajani Pier, where the entrance to Sanam Chai Station is a very short walk away from the river, head across the canal to visit the flower market. Beneath the Iron Girder Bridge, built in 1932 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the founding of Bangkok, the Memorial Bridge Pier is quite close to Little India, and of course, the flower market. It's another not visited by tourist boats. To experience Bangkok away from the main tourist areas, cross the river here, then walk back beside it towards Wat Arun. Rachawang is the pier for Chinatown. Head directly away from the river for about 300 meters before turning right at the Grand China Hotel traffic lights along Yawarat, the main road running through Chinatown. Brightly illuminated during the evenings, it is home to some decent places to eat. Only Chow Praya express boats visit the Marine Department Pier, where Talat Noi, an authentic low-key working-class neighborhood, is home to some Chinese shrines, a rooftop restaurant with excellent river views, and Thailand's oldest operational bank branch. Then, about 200 meters further, they also stop at Si Praya Pier, which serves the Royal Orchid, Sheraton Hotel, and River City, a well-run shopping complex specializing in art and antiques. On the opposite bank, a light to visit, glass-fronted Icon Siam, considered to be one of the world's very best shopping complexes. The following pier, another not visited by tourist boats, is named Oriental, after the nearby Mandarin Oriental Hotel, where afternoon tea is even more expensive than at the Royal Orchid Sheraton. To know if it's better, of course, would involve sampling both. Finally, the boat stops beneath the bridge at Saturn Pier, a short distance from Sapan Taksin Station. Board a train heading away from the river to visit more great places throughout the city. Detailed videos about each of the piers are available on associated website goingtobangkok.com. There's a link in the description.